Quote, the names are made up, but the problems are real. It was Friday, 9.43 a.m., and the hustle and bustle of the city had taken its toll on many New Yorkers who were preparing to go out of town. They would spend the weekend in small towns to the north getting bored and complaining about the lack of hustle and bustle. I was working the day watch out of MathNet. The boss is Joe Greco. My partner is George Frankly. My name is Tuesday. I'm a mathematician. Nice outfit, George. Are you coming or going? Oh, hi, Pat. I'm glad to see you. What are you doing this weekend? Well, I do have some plans. Cancel them. What? Please? I, I got a favor to ask you. Martha and I were scheduled to go upstate for a mystery weekend. Oh, where everybody plays a different part and tries to solve a crime? Right. It's all make-believe. It could be a murder mystery or a kidnapping or a, a hidden treasure. So, what's the problem? Well, I'm the captain, see? And Martha found out last night she has final exams with the chef at the Cordon Bleu and can't go. So, will you go with me? I don't know. Tell me more. Well, it's held at a big manor house called the Quams. There are six other guests. There's good food, entertainment. Should be lots of fun. So that's why you're dressed up as a character, Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Condo, Pat. Condo, not Holmes. It's modern day. Yeah. Who was Martha going as? Dr. Watsit. Will you do it, Pat? I guess I could cancel some things, make some calls, send some faxes. Great. Look, here's where we're going. It's near the town of Rising Gorge, about six inches from New York to Kingston. Two more to Rising Gorge. One inch represents 14 miles. Eight inches, uh, 112 miles. If we average 50 miles an hour, that's a little more than two hours. But some are back roads, not super highway. We'll have to go slower. Right. Let's estimate three hours. We have to be there at six. Go home and pack, and I'll pick you up at your place at three. Here's your costume. I knew you'd do it. <laughs> George, why are we in this car? What do you mean? I, I mean, it isn't yours, is it? Of course not. Martha has the Jag. I rented this one. From who? Accidents or us? Whom? From whom, Pat? Not from who. Nice wipers, Pard. Yeah, well. They got rhythm. They got rhythm. Our exit from the throughway is coming up, George. The map from the Quam said we should take 28 to 42 to 23A. Looks like we could be in for a bit of a blow, Condo. Pray conceal your weather observations, Watson, lest they become reality. Quite so. this map, there ought to be a sign for the qualms right around here. Look, Sherlock, the sign. Excellent observation, my dear, what's it? Just across this raggedy old bridge. And I guess we hang a left. The night is making me uneasy. Sherlock, not George. Remember, we have to stay in character. It's all part of the game. Lighten up, what's it? Nice weather. The submarines. <laughs> I'll get my bag. And watch the mud. Cozy little place, eh, Walt? That's yeah, perfect. It's just like one of those haunted houses from a bad movie. Yay! 
Yes. I'm Sherlock Condo, and this is my partner, Doctor. What's it? Mathnet. Mathnet. I'm sorry, we won't step out of character again. And you are? I am paved. I'm a little ticked off myself. Have the other guests arrived? Why, yes. They're in the drawing room. Come along, what's it? Let's join the other players. Please pardon the lateness of the hour. I am Sherlock Condo, and this is my friend, Dr. Jonah Watson. You may make your introductions as the evening progresses. I say, Condo, have you some perception of what in the name of heaven's going on? I do indeed. He does indeed. Might I make so bold as to inquire? You, sir, might be. I'm Colonel Ashby Wiggins, U.S. Army, retired. You were with the U.S. Army? I was, sir. Why do you have a British accent? I was captured. Well, then, what's it? Without further ado, I think we should get on with it. Yes, Condo, the game is afoot. The game is a what, man? A afoot. Begun. The game has begun. All right. Who might you be? I'm Miles Reed, man. I blow. Jazz musician. Right. May I have the mystery weekend envelope, please? Now then, according to this, one of us is responsible for the disappearance of our host, Mr. Barton B. Each of us has a motive, but only one of us is the guilty party. Our job is to find the criminal. What are you talking about? Who are you, ma'am? I am Amanda Plonk. What do you do, Ms. Plonk? I happen to be a professional contestant. I go on television game shows. Why? To satisfy my inner greed. What are you speaking about? I don't know anybody named Big. All in good time, Ms. Feline. Miss Kitty Feline. I'm a world-renowned dentist. Oh, really? Ah. Oh. I, I, I won the Nobel Tooth Prize. For what? Flossie. May it please the assemblage. Dinner will be served shortly. What's for eats, Bibbed? Wild boar. I've never had it. I am amazed. I'll show you to your rooms. Please step along. You each will note that you've been assigned a bedroom. Your luggage has been placed in your rooms. Please be in the dining room in 15 minutes. Colonel Wiggins, I think you're all back here. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Hard. Okay, but I've got hardly any closet space. Tiniest I've ever seen. Well, let's uh, chow down. Katie Feline isn't here. Shouldn't we wait? Who? The world-renowned dentist. What was that? B flat, man. It's coming from upstairs. This is one heck of a game. 